Hey guys, it's Arden here. A uh, little bit um, exit point before the video starts. Uh, because I ended up finding out a little bit more that uh, this thing actually does clip in. Because the rest of the video is going to be me being a little bit uh, with it, the backpack falling off because I didn't have it all the way in. I just only reached it right now when I just clicked it in there. It's like, oh, just a little bit more pushing in and it actually goes in. And it's no longer falling apart. See, it's no longer falling. Because in the video, this thing just kept falling off and I didn't have it all the way in. So that's my bad. Uh, but out of the way, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's I, Power Hour in here. Doing an Monica review of the Enter Grade Build Strike Exceed Galaxy from the three part series, uh, three part mini series Gundam, Gundam Metaverse that released last year. And let's go in with the review. Go from the box art to model kit. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. And already, already trouble in paradise already. <sighs> okay, saved it partially. Stay on there. Stay on there. Okay, good. I was gonna be I was gonna be worried for a second. Yeah, that kinda happened. God damn it. Well, that already happened, and I was worried about that, but hey, that's fine. Let's go with the model review. Here's the entry grade build strike with everything that it comes with. Got the core booster right here. Comes with the model kit itself. Got a little got we got a shield right here. Got the core booster right over here, which can Transform from backpack mode into core booster mode. As simple as that. Whee. We got it's being magnum, beam rifle. Keep calling it being magnum for some goddamn reason. That's fine and dandy. It's able to separate its parts to go from its smaller beam pistol right here, and then combine it together with the with the rest of the parts of the rifle to make it regular beam rifle. Going from beam pistol to beam rifle. Kind of a little bit of homage to the regular, the original build strike, full package, which you, which it could also do that. It also comes with particle effect part right here, for it to attach to the rifle. It can attach to the rifle like this and rifle mode to do more damage, or you can swap it over for more to become so it can become a beam safe or GN sword or gun sword. I, I said GN sword, but I'm still thinking gun and double when it comes to these parts. But the particle effect part can also be separated and attached to the shield right here. As you can see right here, the particle effect part right here has an indentation right here. Where the particle effect part right here combines. Where it can be attached like this. Come on, attach. We were attaching earlier. Woo, there we go. It's attached like that. Now the shield can be offensive as hell. You can go in, go in and woof. Go in and attack. You're pointing right there. And also, it comes with an extra beam rifle from the regular L Strike. Or regular strike. L Strike, regular strike, doesn't matter. It comes with an extra beam rifle right here from it. So now, you can have your L Strike deal wielding its regular beam rifle with the original L Strike's beam rifle for more firepower. And and there's one thing I do love about Monica, it's when it comes with more weapons. It's always good to be able to do more. It's always fun and it's always one and good to always have extra stuff, extra weaponry. Woo. Now let's go from the weaponry to its... And let's go with how it's able to pose. Ooh. And we already have strike down. Strike down, strike down. We're going from the strike right here. Go from its head. Articulation. See right there. Molded really nice and fine. One thing I do like about this is the Vulcans themselves are molded separately. So you can see right there, the Vulcans are molded pretty nice and fine. They are separated from the from the head. So it's no longer usually molded into like the white pieces of the head. That's molded separately, so it has way more detail. And they were able to spin around. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Do it. It's able to do the whole back and forth. Or like a lot of people that call it giggity, giggity, giggity. Head right, you know, shoulders right here. Able to move around, twist and turn. Fold down. Able to bend. Pretty nice, able to bend all the way that way. And also, good nudge. Alright, it's able to take out the shoulder parts. 
And you rarely, if ever, have those with model kits. And something fell off. I don't know what fell off, but you know what? We'll ignore that. Because if it wasn't on there in the first place, then it doesn't really matter, does it? If it did, I'll come, I'll get it eventually later. Then we go from the torso. Then we go to the torso with the strike. It's able to bend. It's able to bend. Twist around. Whee! Then its legs are able to kick all the way. All the way up. Come on, we can get this all the way up. Get this all the way up. All the way back down. And it's able to bend most of the way up. The side skirt kind of blocks it a little bit. It's kind of stuck there on a double on a ball joint. This thing is on a ball joint. I will have to I will have to uh, for uh, fair warning. And a little bit another warning too, if you do try to pump this off a little bit more, things are gonna pop off. So just know that when you're messing around with this thing trying to pose it or whatnot, be careful when you pose it a little bit off because it will pop off. You can put it's, it'll be easy back to pop it back on, but most of the most just a little bit warning right there that will pop off. Then we got to the leg right there. It's able to bend left and right. It's not able to it's not able to spin. I'll say that's a little bit thing I kinda hate. It goes back and forth, which is great. It's on a swivel joint right there. So just click it on there and it's back and forth. Be able to do that. But unlike on previous strikes, which can uh spin the legs around really can't do that it's a little bit disappointing right there oh that's what fell off i was wondering so i was trying to figure out what fell off on the strike Ugh. this fell off right here the it's the little attachment piece to the hand part not gonna lie i've been having that lately where's a lot of my model kids hands pieces falling off for some reason when i'm trying to attach their weaponry god damn it there we go it's back off. Okay, I might have to glue that on there. Give me one second. This was not meant part of the review. But I guess that's a little thing I guess I should also note. That this thing likes to fly off. But then again, most hand pieces parts, at least for the back for the back plate, will fall off when you're trying to stick parts uh when it's trying to stick its weaponry on there. It happens, it'll fall off. Just be careful when you see that fall off. Make sure you have a know where you think it fell off because then you'll try to find it. Overall, a pretty good model kit. I love the design of this. Really do. It's aesthetically pleasing. No seam lines. Everything's actually everything's under gated. The only seam lines I think you can see right here on the legs parts. But they're pretty nice hidden away right there. You can almost not notice them. As long as you make sure these guys are fit pretty well. Uh, what's it called? Overall, the entry grade Bill Strike C Galaxy is pretty nice model kit. I'm actually really glad I picked this up. I basically just went to Target, saw this, got it, and I'm really, really glad. It is my third entry grade that I own. The other two being the entry grade uh, Target Exclusive Arc 78 American version. And then the entry grade New Gundam. Both also acquired at Target. Now let's rebuild this guy back together to do some posing. Also, just make sure I don't also accidentally blow off the, uh, the back plate again because that will be very sad if I lose this again. And then there's the strike with its shield. Extra beam rifle for more customization right there. Ooh, pretty nice. And there's the integrate strike. There right there is the integrate strike. So everything back together. Very good model kit. If you like, if you do see this on source shelves, Target or whatnot, if you see this online, if you say, should I get this? I do recommend it. It's a pretty good model kit. Very cheap price. I got this at Target for like 12, 13 bucks. So overall, very cheap, not very expensive. Comes with a lot of things. Comes with a lot of things. Very detailed. Uh, what's it called? Overall, I recommend it. Uh, what's it called? I compared this to the... Now, I do have a little bit thing, sad comparison. Let's compare this to the other two strikes. Because I do own the other two previous versions of the strikes. To see all three brothers together. As we have the left side, we have the Star Bill Strike. The, pro, the progenitor of all these guys. 
Then we have the Galaxy Strike on the right, left, right, depending on whose side where we're looking at this. Now, I will say he's the only one without a backpack because his backpack broke. That was a little pe peg problems, which I will, will, will warn with the core booster of this guy right here. He's not stuck all the way in there. So, as you can see right there, he's not stuck all the way in. So, when you're playing with this or filling in with this, it will have the tendency to pop off. Just like with the side skirts and whatnot as well. So, be careful on that. I would, I'm would i probably going to do some modifications to either uh, sand a little bit more so what's called the peg piece could fit in there. Or put some uh, tack in there so it will stay in there. But overall, not too much of a problem. As you can see there, it fell off. I'm going to just keep the booster off for the rest of the video. What's it called? Not too much. It's not too little. Just put a little bit of tack or whatnot. Or do a little bit of sanding so it would make it a little bit fit. But it'll be overall fine. Put the strikes. Put both of the strikes back together. As this is mostly a video about the XC Galaxy. But overall, that is the review for the Build Strike XC Galaxy. Very good model kit. I recommend if you if you see this on store shelves or anywhere, if you want to buy it, I recommend it. It's a good model kit. Uh, but with that out of the way, this is Power Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.